began to think that one day Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, will ask me about it. Remember that in this ayah, uh, Allah Azza wa Jalla said, وَلَا تَجْرُ وَأَجْرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى No soul will bear the burden of another. Everyone will bear his own deeds. Everyone will be ac accountable for their own deeds. So, when you th if you want to realize, or if you want to uh, make yourself thinking about it, and you, you want to be aware about your uh, burdens, and that you will bear all of them, so think that you will return to him one day. Thinking about returning will make you, will uh, increase your awareness uh, about your deeds. <clears throat> I remember an ayah in the Quran, the one who took his, uh, his book uh, from his right hand. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ Allah Azza wa Jalla gave him his book from his right hand. Those Ashab al the righteous uh, peoples. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ He cries. فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِهِ This is my book. Look how it is beautiful. Look how it is good. هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِهِ he pride of his book because most of it or uh, many of it most of the book may be good or Allah Azza wa Jalla did forgive uh, the bad part of the book and may Allah changed his uh, bad deeds to the good deeds he forgave, forgave him, maybe. But he is the one whom Allah Azza wa Jalla gave his book from his right hand. And the people surrounding him and asking, asking him, what is the difference uh, which led you to this consequence? What do you think? What was the real reason for Allah had forgive you? He said, إِنِّي ظَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَا I thought, I guessed that when I was in the world that I will be uh, one day hold accountable for my own deeds. إِنِّي ظَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَا I thought that Allah Azza wa Jalla one day will ask me I did not think that whatever I did, whatever I uh, do, no one, nobody will ask me anything. No. By contrast, I, 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 I thought that there should be one day the one who created me will ask me about my life. This is the main reason uh, which brought me to this uh, end, to this uh, consequence. To this good can end. Inni dhanan tu anni mulaqin hasabia. So we should be aware and we should be uh, increase. Uh, we should increase thinking about dying, thinking about death, because this consideration will uh, increase our awareness uh, in this life about akhira about uh, our burdens and about uh, our hasab, our uh, reckoning in the hereafter uh, in before Allah Azza wa Jalla. ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ مَرْجِعُكُمْ And be, because of this uh, importance uh, of the matter, Allah Azza wa Jalla in many ayah in the Qur'an uh, states uh, about returning to him, about returning to him in many ayah, because this is a very big uh, ayah uh, in front of the man to understand his situation and do, to understand his irremediable uh, returning uh, to his Lord. He can see it 
with his own eyes كأنما يساقون إلى الموت وهم ينظرون it, it is as if the one who is going to the death with open eyes there is no difference between our death and between that one who uh, go uh, to the death uh, deliberately deliberately or open, in open eyes كأنما يساقون إلى الموت وهم ينظرون they are going to do uh, death with open eyes how can they do this cannot they realize cannot they see cannot they understand of course they have the eyes they have the ears and they have the hearts but they do not use them because they do not like the result they do not like to have a Lord commanding him they do not have like they do not like that idea they want to be free and this uh, objective and this aim takes them in dalala to ignore their uh, creator to overlook him how a bad way and how an illogical way so if we want to be a good man in life if we want to finish the, this life uh, with good a'mal, with good deeds if we want to reach the end uh, purely uh, we should uh, remember uh, the death we should remember the returning uh, much more uh, and this will be will benefit uh, our consciousness uh, and our fear uh, from Allah Azza wa Jalla ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ مَرْجِعْكُمْ then your return is to your God it's already clear that there is a return Allah Azza wa Jalla in this ayah uh, does not say that you will return no your return is to your Lord because we are already in a return and we are uh, aware and we know it we know nobody <coughs> deny uh, his returning yes we are in a, in a return but to whom we are returning and I and this ayah informs us about uh, about to whom we are returning then your return which is valid right now is and you you are uh, aware about it your return is to your God and he will inform you he will tell you the truth of all you did because Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, right now copying all of them we were copying of what you are do doing as if with you or as if writing but istinsakh like copying with with all uh, aspects not only physically Allah copying our deeds as a video right but but much more than that he also uh, writing our intentions it's not an outwardly thing but also inwardly what he is doing where he is doing and uh, what's the reason in that doing what his aim in that doing Allah copying your mind also in all aspect of your doing is uh, under uh, writing and Allah Azza wa Jalla copying all of them inna kunna nastansikhu ma kuntum ta'amalun we were uh, copying your amal, your deeds and Allah Azza wa Jalla will bring all of them in front of us and we'll say to you that day 
in, of your, in one of your days when you, are, when you were alive you were right when you were struggling with that man okay this is good but in that another day you were wrong why did you oppress that man although you are knowing that you are wrong you oppressed him every single deed Allah will bring them before us and will inform us the truth of that thing so we should be aware that whatever we are doing in this life it will not uh, uh, remain here no it is not the first and the end uh, and it's not the first and the last time we are doing it or we are confronting it no we will confront to them more again one more more again in front of Allah Azza wa Jalla. and he will say the truth in that situation or in that action or in that uh, anything and if you were true uh, in your action or in your saying or anything else Allah Azza wa Jalla will approve it before all the people in that day what a good situation you will, you will be proud of that situation but if you were wrong Allah Azza wa Jalla will say to you you were wrong you wronged in that day and all the people will see uh, you in that situation and Allah Azza wa Jalla will forsake you in that situation so he will inform us all all the thing we used to do in this life bima kuntum ta'malun and he will not uh, abandon any small deeds or any big deeds fayunabbiukum bima kuntum ta'malun but we hope from allah azza wa jalla to make hisab uh, for us to uh, reckoning us to reckon us in an easy way which is uh, stated in the Quran Hisaban Yasira in easy way and there is uh, a difficult way difficult day and Hisab difficult Hisab what is the difference between the easy Hisab and uh, uh, and the difficult hisab Aisha radiallahu anha asked this question to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said to him that you are saying man yuhasab yu'adhab whom Allah uh, hold account accountable uh, then it means uh, chastisement for him it means already azab if Allah uh, ask you about the, your deeds about your amal it means that the azab, the azab the chastisement begins at that moment but look Allah Azza wa Jalla say in the Quran that there is an easy hisab it's contradictory with your saying asked Aisha radiallahu anha to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded that it is the hisab yasir the easy way of the hisab it is only uh, an art Allah